Coach, you went up against MJ. Magic, all those guys, and you scared to try the muscles, Coach? Yeah, muscles too much for me. <laughs> I can't mess with the muscles, but all right, we'll, we'll try give this, this a try. We got a little tuna right here, a little bit of salmon. So let's see, see what we got going on here. Make sure I get a little bit of the sauce. It's actually pretty good. It is pretty good. Right, now, Coach, you are a small town guy, Eden, Oklahoma. Tell me about your journey from there to the NBA. Well, I uh, not only was the town small, I was small. I was like, <laughs> I was like 155 pounds okay. coming out of high school. But uh, Bobby Crimmins had just gotten a job at Georgia Tech, and uh, they were just start. Their program was bad. I mean, it was it was bad. And uh, he had to find somebody flying under the radar, so I was one of those guys. And, uh, you know, showed up at Georgia Tech playing in the mighty ACC, Carolina, Duke. So it was one of those places he just closed his eyes and pointed on the map and said, hey, I'm going to go find a basketball <laughs> player right there in that place. Well, no, it was funny because he, you know, Bobby was from New York City. He didn't think anybody outside of New York City could play ball. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> his assistant saw me play the AAU tournament in Florida. He calls him up and said, Bobby, I found our guy, our point guard. Bobby says, no, I'm not going to Florida to recruit a, point, a guard. He said, no, it's better than that. This kid's from Oklahoma. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he said, Bobby, like, cussed him out for a couple minutes before he finally, like, said, uh, all right. And he goes, Bobby, just trust me. You better go down and see this kid play. So they started recruiting me and came and watched, like, 17 of my games in high school. Okay. You know? uh, so I went and visited, fell in love with the school. Uh, obviously, get a chance to play in the ACC. Big city. Oh, yeah. man. I went from little town to, yeah, it was a little scary, man, to be honest, first time. But uh, but we were able to build something. Went from last place to first place in two years. You know, kept adding pieces. Uh, beat North Carolina three times my junior year to win the ACC championship. And really put Georgia Tech basketball on the map. And it was really at that point, probably after my junior year, that I realized, you know what, I might. I might have a shot to play in the NBA one day. You know, same thing though, you know, they all looked at me. I didn't pass the eye test, you know, too small. Can't do always this, can't fight. do this. Always fight, that's yeah. life, coach. Uh, but, you know, I could shoot. And that th that's always got me where I needed to go. And uh, once I got out on the court, I would, you know, with Brad Doherty and all those guys in Cleveland, we started building something special there too and became a perennial playoff team. And, you know, it was, uh, it was a wild ride, but, uh, you know, I was blessed. Got to play 13 years in the NBA and, and had success, made some all-star teams and, you know, did all right. Uh, what type of stuff does Mark Price like? You're a barbecue guy, steak guy, what do you like? Well, I do like barbecue, uh, but I'm pretty simple. I go to a sports bar or whatever. It's, it's most likely going to be a good burger. You know? Okay. It'll hey, be a can't good burger. That at all. Uh, that's hard to beat. Uh, I do like a good steak, too, coming from Oklahoma, you know. Got, got the cows and stuff out there. I bet there. they do. I bet <laughs> that's the, the good stuff out there. All right, Coach. Now, you played 12 years in the NBA. Career is over. I see that you went and started coaching high school ball down in Georgia. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me about that journey, how you went from coaching Duluth High School to now with the Charlotte 49ers, and you had multiple stops in the NBA. Well, it, it was funny because uh, after I retired from the league, um, moved back, we've kind of had a, my wife and I had a home in Atlanta in the, in the Duluth area. It was kind of home base for me while I played and coached because, you know, NBA business teams and you never know where you're going to be. So right. that Atlanta's kind of where we picked. Uh, she's from there. Obviously, I went to Tech. Uh, but, uh, you know, actually a, a guy that was coaching Duluth High School got sick, you know, you know, real sick, like. He was in the hospital having to get chemo, things like oh, that. Man. And, and he had actually, my wife knew him. She went to school at Duluth High School. And so I basically just called him up and said, hey, coach, uh, if you ever need me to help you, you know, during this time, come over. I'll be glad to run some practices for you, you know, try to help you through this through this time. And, you know, he was kind of sick on you. And he basically said, can you basically coach the team for me this season? And so that's kind of how I started getting into the coach. And I really enjoyed it. Uh, did that to help him that year, and then uh, got another call, went, helped start a program at a school called Whitfield Academy in Atlanta. Um, then went to be an assistant at Georgia Tech for a year. Uh, then kind of got out of basketball for a couple years, just wanted to spend more time with my family. My kids were young growing up. 
But it just seemed like it kept pulling me back in. I'd get teams, pro teams calling me. Hey, I got this guy. Can you work with him on a shot or do this? And Coach, that's the wicked jump shot, man. <laughs> curse. They're going to always want that. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I actually had some guys that ran a facility up in uh, Suwannee, Georgia, uh, Suwannee Sports Academy. And they did camps and all that kind of thing. And I said, hey, you know, would you guys be interested in me coming and using, being able to use your facility? bring college pro guys in here and we actually built what we call a shooting lab in, in that facility. Kind of similar to what they do with golf. You know, we got cameras and, and different technologies, a, a NOAA machine, I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It actually measures, you know, free throw shooting and arcs of shots. Yeah, just and just analytics. Analytics and, and so teams start sending me guys. We had a lot of success helping a lot of players. And there's probably 30, 35 guys in the league now that have come through that I've worked with, you know, uh, to try to help them with their shots. That's fantastic. And so then it kind of just progressed to teams are like, well, if he can help them in the summer, then he can help our guys all year round. So yeah, the teams start asking me to come on staff as a, as a coach and assistant coach. And, and that just one thing kind of led to another. And,